Hello everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome to another Granitoka Plays MMOs. It's been a long time since I did one of these, I know. And this is RuneScape. It doesn't look like RuneScape, I know, because we haven't got into the world yet. Funny thing, you might have noticed it's not exactly full screen yet, just bear with me, because you don't get full screen unless you're a member. And I've, be I've become a member, and obviously I can't actually change it to full screen. Actually, I wonder if I can change it to full screen now, because I'm logged in. No. No, I can't. It just it just brings up a... Um, my Chrome. Anyway, yes, yeah, so... Um, Roosecape. It's been a long time since I've played this. I, I distinctly have so many memories of this game. When you're sort of like in school, and there were some computers in school which didn't block it. Also, the music sort of cuts out sometimes. There were some schools that didn't block RuneScape. Mine was one of those in primary, I think. And secondary, there were some computers that could do it, some computers that couldn't. And I don't know, just, just sometimes logging onto this game, spending hours on it, sometimes during your break times and things like that. And oh, it was so much fun. So much fun. And I kind of just stopped playing it. And it's been like, what, 10 years now since I properly played it last? I remember I ha I did have another account, but I completely forgot my details. So well, no. Also, somebody took my Kranatoko name, so I had to go with Krana Games. How could you, people? So anyway, yes, let's go and create a character, and then uh, did I choose the wrong? Did I choose the right world? I have no idea. I should probably go to world select first. But oh well, it's loading me in. And of course, the problem is I can't actually go back from the screen now. So yes. Uh, right, let's create a character first, and then I shall change everything to full screen. Uh, right, what what kind of hair should we go with? We want to be male, obviously, and let's go for a yeah. Mm, you're a bit pale, though, aren't you? Mm, mm, yeah, let's go for that one. That's mine, not. Uh, and hairstyle. I always go for the coolest one. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, but I don't know if I like it. Um. Obviously, it's all it's, it's all hairstyles. Oh no, 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 no! They look good on the little icons, but when you actually see them personally, they don't look as good. They really don't. I saw one one that's kind of resemblance resembles to Granatoku's hair, um, but now that just reminds me of somebody I know from my workplace who who is the one who actually plays this game. This game, this video is actually dedicated to him because he plays RuneScape. I don't know if he was actually watching, but. Hey, uh, oh no, I don't want to go for Goku hair, don't want to do that, uh, what, what hair should we go for? This video is just going to be me choosing my hair, you watch, you watch. Uh, the game sort of stops every now and again with the music and sometimes just lags out, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's because I'm not in full screen yet. Uh, oh come on, what hair do I want to go with? Why is it such a difficult choice? Uh, no, why would I ever want to go for Jedward hair? If you don't know who Jedward are, be glad you don't know who Jedward are. <laughs> Ah, we'll just go for this one. It's not too bad. We can have blue hair. Having blue hair! <laughs> and we can choose what clothes we have. We can start with even. Uh, ooh, what was that? That Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty nifty. Let's go with that. I like that. Because uh, I, I like my character speed like so that sort of, hey, hey, yeah, I'm an adventurer. Yeah, kind of kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. Uh, mm, maybe not those. Yeah, that, that would work very well. And colouring, let's go with... Let's have it, yeah, let's have it match my jacket, even though, actually, no, is that even the same, that's not even remotely the same colour. That's going to look odd. Uh, Shoes-wise, let's go with that, yeah, and let's have, should we have purple shoes or pink shoes? No, we'll have blue shoes. His favourite colour is blue, and of course we're going to go for a beard, because I have a beard in real life, and I like my beard. Um, although I don't want it to be, like, very posh, kind. Uh... I guess it'll just have your jacket beard like that. Right, let's play now. Some heroes, Some are, born... heroes are born. Oh, possessing natural gifts that lift them above the ordinary. Some heroes are made. Their strength is the result of hardship and toil. Some heroes live for adventure, confronting terrible dangers in pursuit of riches and fame. while others fight to protect those who cannot defend themselves. I try to, but I usually fail. But some heroes have more unlikely origins. This is the story of one such hero. This is your story. Uh, I'm always an unlikely hero. Every single game I play. Uh, wow, 30 frames per second. How gorgeous. But this game looks a lot better than it did about 10 years ago. 
Definitely. Okay, this this game is so much different than it has been. Uh, use the oh, that's to turn the camera. But how do I move? Um, how 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 do I how do I actually move? I'm here, laddie. I need to talk to you. I I I don't know how. I'm I I I can't. I, how do you move? Oh, do I have to do that every time? Wait, walk here. Well, walk there then. He's not moving. Oh. Oh, no, oh, maybe I had to click on him first. Very important, buddy. Well, tell me then. What's the matter? I had a dream. A vision. The world was on fire. <gasps> All of Gilanor was consumed in flames. When I awoke, I knew I had to come and get you. Why me? You're special, buddy. You have talents and abilities beyond those of ordinary folk. Doesn't look like I do. I have no abilities whatsoever. <laughs> Gilanor needs heroes now more than ever. That's why you have to come with me to the mainland. Once we're there, I'll guide you to places where you can put your talents to use. But before we set off, we'll need to prepare you for the journey ahead. All right. You're going to need some food and a decent sword for a start. That rusty old blade of yours wouldn't cut a loaf of bread. What? Why would you want to cut a... Loaf of bread with a rusty sword. Ooh, rusty bread. Uh, where am I? You take a knock to the head or something? Yes. We're in Ashdale, far from the shores of the mainland. Where else would we be? I, I don't know. Planet Earth. Uh, let's go then, I guess. Right, you are, laddie. Right, you are, laddie. Uh, right. We need to follow you. The 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 camera's inverted. I press A and it turns that way, and I press D and it turns that way. I don't like that. Can I? Can I change the set? Actually, I need to change all the settings. So, be right back. And I'm back, and I can't figure out how I want my camera, really, uh, because I, I I don't know. I'm one of those weird people that has like A and D. That that A's doing that way, and D's doing that way. But the 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 up and down camera just doesn't feel right for something. I had this problem when I was playing Arkham Knight with the Batarang controls, and I I don't know. It just I don't I I and I tried swapping these two around as well with W and S and it just didn't, still didn't feel right. But oh well, we'll just go with it. And um, we can walk now as well. We just do click, so that's fine. Can we actually use? No, we can't use the arrow keys. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Uh, are you going to speak or do I have to do your voice now? Do you I, hear that? Oh, I don't have to. I was going to say I don't have to do your voice. Uh, I I I did hear it, even though I have my volume down very low, so that doesn't mess with the recording. Shut up, human's beard. Kill it. With with a, with a Rusty sword that won't even cut a loaf of bread, let alone a skeleton. Alright, yeah, will do. Oh, zombie even. That's ah, same difference, really. Woo, that was what easy. Uh, you gain your first ability. You can use the slice ability to deal more damage. So I can slice a loaf of bread. Yeah, I know, I know. That's terrible. Right, should we go? Wait a minute. Did you hear that? What? What? Um. Okay, I guess I'll kill it again. Like I was say, did you do the exact same voice clip as before? It kind of seemed like you did. Uh, all I can do is slice at the moment. Lovely. Level up! Uh, you've gained a level. As you perform actions in RuneScape, you'll gain XP. That will enhance your skills. Also, I hate well how it's not gone to full screen. This is weird. Bravely. The question is, where did those creatures come from. I've never seen anything like it in Ashdale before. Have you knew it? Something is wrong. Very wrong. I'm not as young as I used to be, laddie. If there's danger coming, the task of protecting Ashdale will have to fall to you. Anyway, let's press on. For now, we'll stick with the plan of preparing you for the journey to the mainland. But we should keep an eye out. All right, let's not let's keep an eye out for anything unusual. I need to change this to full screen. I did that, but for some reason, it's kind of just gone back to the way it was. I even had it on high. I have no idea what's going on right now. I because the game crashed, so I loaded it back up, and all of a sudden, this is happening. What what's going on? I what? 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 Am I having a dream? I don't know. What is going on? And I'm here. Um. What? 
What is going on right now? I have no idea. Is this something that's happening right now in the game or something? I, I... Wow, his, view, his field of view is terrible. <laughs> and again, that's what we all see in the game. He's flickering in and out. Okay, I think yeah, I think we get the picture. I think we get the picture that there is something. How, what? What? Why am I? He Why am I here? How the hell did I get here? I don't have a clue. Yeah, basically, I was trying to change the graphics option as you saw me try to do it, and the game just kind of crashed. It doesn't like doing it when I'm recording, which is weird. So I'm going to change it when I'm not recording. A minute. And I'm back, and now we can carry on with what we were doing, which I don't know what we were doing. I don't know what the hell just happened. Right. Time to do some fishing. Here's some bait to get you started. Wait, a huge dragon-like metal creature, I say metal because it looked like something from Brutal Legend, just came out of the sky, and we're going to do some fishing. Wonderful. Uh, left click the fishing spot to start fishing! Alright, do I even have a line? Didn't know I had a line. Oh well, I guess I do, just out of nowhere. Uh, will I catch that fish? Will I catch that fish? Fishy, come get my line. Come get my line. <gasps> it looks like he's coming to get my line. No, he's not. Ah! Oh, I got some fish. Uh, most items you pick up will be sorted into your backpack. Let's go and cook those fish. Let's go cook some fish. Not save the world. Go cook some fish. Level two. I, th I could have sworn I leveled up to level two before, but maybe I'll just level up to level one. Maybe maybe you start out as level zero. Cow! Hello, cow. The frame rate is terrible, though. It's at 24 frames. You gotta remember as well. This was originally a browser game. All right. This was originally a browser game, and I think that's what they still try to go for. Hence why the field of view is terrible. Hence why you can see this blue haze, so that you can still play this in your browser, which yeah, I guess is I guess is okay. Is that the real time as well? It's 11:46 where I live in the world. So uh, anyway, let's cook the fish. Let's cook. Go cook. Right click on the mini on the manau. On the manau. Um and select use and left click on the fire. Woo! We're cooking fish. We're going somewhere now. Uh picking them out. Uh left click button go fish. Alrighty. One. Two. Three. Woo! Level up again. Oh level up my Oh level up my cooking. Don't eat them now. Keep hold of them until you really need Screw them. you! Maybe I wanna eat them now! Food's the best thing for restoring health, so you should always have a little bit with you in case you get into a fight. Yes, because you're gonna be like let's get started on your new sword. That rusty old blade of yours isn't going to last much longer. Because you're gonna be in a fight, you're gonna be like, hold on, hold on, I need to eat. Hold on. I kinda wish I could move with the arrow keys, but Obviously not. Yeah, frame rate is very terrible, obviously, but you just have to do it because this is RuneScape. RuneScape's always been this way, I assume. It's been well, it's been that way ever since I started playing it. But and no one well, seems to complain. Yeah. Give it a poke, will you? Just to make sure it's dead. It says dead cow, so it's most likely dead. But yeah, we don't see these things if we're. Oh, oh. zombie cow! Attack the zombie cow. Why would I attack a zombie cow? The first game which, have act which I have actually seen do zombie animals. Well, I suppose Resident Evil sort of did it. Maybe a little bit of zombie dogs, but you don't really see, like, in The Walking Dead, you don't see zombie animals, which I would love to see one day, but no, no, apparently they're not affected by the virus. The zombie cow dropped something. Left pick. It had coins in it. Lovely logic. Doman's <laughs> beard. Never in all my days have I seen anything like that. Never? Whatever is happening here, it's more serious than I thought. Looks like you're going to need a new sword, laddie. Your old one is beyond repair. Let's head to the quarry so we can get the ore you need. See, now, the only complaint I think I have with the brand new RuneScape 3, I said brand new, I don't know when it came out, but I remember when I used to play this when I was a kid, and I don't know, just the introduction used to be so much more simpler. It was all like, "Hey, let's let's have you go through an underground tunnel and so that you kill people." Oh, you've done that! Hooray! Go explore the world. This is all like, let's introduce you to fishing, cooking. Off you go. Can't can't I go to people and do that optionally? Or yeah, mm, 
Oh well. This is these are newer times, I guess. Wow, you hit that rock twice, and you're already like, whoa, whoa. Then again, it is boiling hot today. Yay, yeah, mine. Everything you need. Let's head over to the smithy. Let's head over to the smithy. Level up my mining. So I've leveled up my fishing, my cooking, my mining, and my attacking. What about my ultimate level? Is there like an ultimate level? I don't really know. I guess there is. Hmm. Oh well. Right. Um, the first thing to do is use the furnace to make a bronze bar. Ah, oh, I remember the icons are the exact same as they used to be as well. well that's cute. All uh, right, we go to the smelt furnace, and we're gonna make a bronze bar. Yay! So all the icons are all the same from when I was a kid, but it's just you know there the game's a little bit different. One. Now use the anvil to make yourself a sword. I wanted to make myself a tin sword. Why am I going to make myself a bronze one? Ah, fine, we'll smith it. But we'll smith it. Right click on the arm. Oh, uh, right click, press use into a sword. I, I, I said use into a sword. Smith. Yay, we did it. <laughs> cool. And uh, now we need to wield it. Lovely. Items you have equipped can be seen in the worn equipment interface. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Yes, I kind of had no choice. It sounded like it came from the church. Let's go. Let's go then. Uh, you can run a lot faster than me, though, for a very short old man. Oh well. Oh, oh, everything just sort of lagged out a minute. Go, 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 go. Go, go, we're in a hurry. We need to go to the church. How could you tell that? The dramatic music? Let's go into the church, which I would never like to set foot in ever in real life because I don't like churches. They're kind of creepy. Didn't you just say that? Oh, who are you? Hello. It's Jesus! No. Mum? Dad? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, everything's gone tonight. Oh, hello. How you doing, zombie? You alright? Yeah, I'll just kill you in two shots. Go! Die! Lovely. You've gained another ability. The kick ability will allow you to stun your target. Oh, wonderful. Uh, the again, the camera is so weird. Oh, oh, more of you. Die before you raise from the dead. Kick! Oh, well, that actually did a lot of damage then. I thought it was only just a stun. Oh, well. Uh, can we go and attack you now? Let's get her. Let's get her. Alrighty. Stun! Oh wow, she's got a lot of health. Stun, I said. Lovely. Stun does a lot more damage than my actual sword. Okay, maybe it not now. Well, it's not because you're dying, so clearly it's not. Once you are dead, I will make you my slave. Uh, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, being part of the army of the dead, that that'd be pretty cool, actually. I'd like that. It's like if I was if I was in the world of what? Where have you gone? Uh, it's like if, if I was in the world of Warcraft. I wouldn't mind being an undead. It might look horrible and smell horrible, but you know, you'll be undead. You'll be used to the smell after a little while. Plus, you look so badass as an undead. No, it cannot be. How did? Did did I just absorb her? What's this little bar here? What's it? What's that doing? Well, oh, was that when the cutscene ended? Fight to remember. You fought bravely, laddie, and you did me proud. Wait, am I level eleven? What? I'm sure the townspeople will want to thank you for what you've done. Meet me at the harbour when you're ready to set off for the mainland. Uh, all right, there's fireworks above my head. There's fireworks above my head. Ooh, headdress. Ooh, lovely. Uh, is it? Is it in my inventory? It is. Can I actually wear it? I. Oh my god. That looks absolutely terrifying. 
Anyway, let's go explore a little bit more and then we'll finish up. I but this wasn't going to be a very long video. I know most of it's been sort of introductions and stuff, but... I don't know, RuneScape is sort of one of those games I kind of just want to play in my own time. It is one of those games you just play in your own time. And I know how horrible it might look, but back in my day, we had worse graphics than this and we all just loved the game. This was one of those games you didn't care about the graphics to play off, to play off. You just didn't care. These days it's all, oh look at SWOTOR, look how bad the graphics are, they're so much worse than WOWs. Uh, <laughs> no, no, don't, don't, don't even, don't even lie, don't. Uh, but, you know, remember, this is a browser game, so you've got to put that into this perspective. This take us to the mainland. Just use the gangplank. Alright, yes, let's go to the game. Oh, I'm not ready. Oh. I guess I guess we're gonna leave. Yep, I said we. I didn't even choose if we were ready or not, but we're gonna leave anyway. Woo! This is Tavern, the westernmost province of the Kingdom of Asgardia. My house is just a short way from here. Let's go. Still don't really know who you are, though. Your strange old man invites me into your house. Should I be worried? I don't know. I think I should be worried. Right. The first thing I need to do is give you this. It's a contact gem. It'll allow you to talk to me even when I'm far away. Uh, lovely. Oh, use the home teleport spell to travel to the Lumbridge Lodgestone. If you need to talk to Godric, simply click this button. Alright. To toggle the directions to your task on and off, click this button. Oh, okay. Oh, click here to open the path system interface. Ah, ah, these are the tasks Good is going to guide you through. Oh, okay. Are you, you going to speak? Now I need to tell you about the Lodgestone network. Oh, you're not actually going to speak this time. Okay. Uh, get, get, what, how, uh, Galena, that was too small of a word to understand because my eyes were going a bit funny then. It's a big place, so most people use the Lodgestone network to get around. To travel between Lodgestones, you need to use the home teleport spell. Don't worry, it's a doddle. Now uh, click here to open the Lodgestone network. Ah! The map shows which Lodgestones you have activated so far. Uh, as your first quest is near Lodgebridge Castle, your Lumbridge Lodgestone has been activated for you. Lovely. Oh, oh, this is the exact same, this, yeah, this is the exact same animation as when we used to teleport in the original. Oh, that's cute. I remember, I remember so many memories now. Okay, everything looks... Ooh, this looks interesting. Uh, the main map shows the area you're currently in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yay! We're free to explore! We're 24 frames per second! 25! Yay! Uh, summer is here. Indeed it is. I can feel it. Um, what, what, what do we do now? What what do we do now? I don't really know. Oh, we've got to speak to you. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, does not, does not everyone have voices then? Oh, I'm glad you come by. I need some help. Uh, who are you? My name's Xenia. I'm an adventurer. I'm one of the old guard, I, su I suppose. I helped found the Champions Guild. I've done a fair few quests in my time. Now I'm starting to get a bit old for action, which is why I need your help. What help do you need? Some cultists of Zamorak have gone into the catacombs with a prisoner. I don't know what they're planning, but I'm pretty sure it's not a tea party. It could be. There are three of them, and I'm not as young as the last time I was here. I don't want to go down there without backup. I'll help you. Out of randomness. Let clip to accept the quest. Lovely. I knew you would. We've got no time to lose. You head downstairs and I'll follow. Sure. Likely story. Come on, Kale. We don't have forever. Look, Reese, are you sure about this? There must be some other way we can. We made a blood pack, Kale. The three of us are all in this sort of way. You mean four? Oh, you're the person you tied up. Oh, okay. Yes, but do we have to take this idiot? Yes, the blood pact. You read the book. Let me go. I didn't make any blood pact with... Shut up. Kale, you stay here. Guard the door. You, come on. 
poor woman. Poor, poor woman. Uh, right, use the mouse wheel, wazzle or the arrow keys to rotate the camera. I know about that. Use the mouse wheel or page key to zoom in and then out the camera. Woo! Right, let's go. Gotta go save whoever. Hello, Kale. You're gonna die, Kale. Ah! <laughs> it looks like I'm too old for this after all. You have to do the rest without me. I've no doubt you're a skilled warrior, but I think I can help you make more of your talents. Uh, powers and face. Um, here you'll find all the abilities and prayers. Success in combat depends on the careful use of these powers. This interface allows you to add abilities to your action bar so you can use them in combat. Left click the slaughter ability and drag it into your action bar. Uh, okay. I, uh, I, I can't. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can. Now you can use the slaughter ability in combat. Now click the overpower thing. There we go. Lovely. Some abilities can only be used with adrenaline. When you use a basic ability, you will build up adrenaline. Once you have enough gelatin, you can th use threshold and ultimate abilities. Lovely. I'll follow you, but I'll stay out of combat. Return to me if you're wounded. I have some food to share. You're lightly wounded. You should eat some food if you're carrying. The first cultist is using a ranged weapon, so you should attack him with your melee weapon. I can handle this. Alright. Let's let's go. I should be alright for health for the moment. <laughs> Yay, let's stun you. This game isn't as fun as I used to remember. It used to be so much more fun when I was a child. Back, you know, in the original sort of runes game, maybe I've just gotten older now, perhaps. Yeah, that's probably the case. Uh, have I built up enough adrenaline yet? Yay, there we go. Use your adrenaline to trigger the threshold ability. Threshold! Wow, that did so much damage. So much damage. Oh well, we're nearly there anyway. And you did! Lovely, lovely. Are you gonna beg for your life now? Uh, are you going to kill me? Uh, no, just give me your stuff and get out of here. I don't think that cultist will be any more trouble. I'm glad you didn't have to kill him. I think the second cultist was using magic. You should use a ranged weapon to defeat magic users. Ask me if you need any help. I don't really have a way. Oh, yes, I do. Lovely. Uh, left click the bow to equip it. There we go. And now open the powers interface. Uh, here are your ranged abilities. Left click the piercing shot ability and drag it into your action bar. Alrighty. Done. Now you can use piercing shot ability in combat. Lovely. Uh, right, where do I go now? Do I have to go in here? I guess so. Aha! Hello! I see. I guess I'm just gonna keep pressing number five. I wonder if I can do it with the keyboard actually. I can! Lovely. So it pretty much is like an MMO. Righty oh. One more shot should do it. Lovely. How do I get through that door? Is it still locked? Uh, well done. You need to open the gates to reach the other gallery. There should be a winch nearby. Uh, ah, there it is. Operate the winch. Wonderful. How wonderful. Uh, let's go. Is she going to follow me? No, she's just going to stay behind? Alright. Uh, is that door already open? It is indeed. Alright, let's talk to Caitlyn. Caitlyn Stark. Oh, it's like Game of Thrones all over again. Uh, what are you waiting for? Finish me! Uh, I'm not going to kill you, just give me your stuff and get out of here. I'm going to be merciful, because I'm, I'm I'm good like that. The second cultist passed me on her way out. I don't think she'll be any more trouble. I'm glad you didn't have to kill her. I think the third cultist was a swordsman. Magic is the best thing to use against the melee fighters. Speak to me if you need any help. Uh, click on the staff to pick it up. Lovely. Left click the staff to equip it. Uh, now open the powers interface. Magic. These are your magic abilities. Left click the whack the rack. Ability to drag into your action bar. You can use the rack ability now. Lovely. Do I go downstairs? I think I do. The potion is ready. Where are the others? The whole group should be present. Let me go! Shut up! Who are you? What are you doing down here? Uh my name's Crana Games. <laughs> I'm an adventurer. This will be your tomb, adventurer. The blood pact will prevail. And magic! And magic! Magic seems way more powerful than melee. Maybe that's what I should be using in the future. Actually, I wonder if I can stun you. Oh, I can! Doesn't really do much to you, though. One more hit should do it. Oh, maybe not. Oh, come on. There we go. And you're down. You've beaten me, adventurer! Now strike the final blow, end the blood pact in this tomb. 
I'm not going to... Actually, I have some questions. Ask your questions. Uh, who are you? I am Reese, warrior of Zamorak and leader of the Blood Pact. Uh, who are the others? Faithful servants of Zamorak. He is a god of chaos and destruction. We bound ourselves to his service. What were you planning to do down here? End Saruman's dominance over Lumbridge. The tyrant god shall fall. With the Blood Pact and the power of the Tomb of the Dragon Nun, we will send an army of the dead to claim this town of Zamorak. Enough questions, then finish me! End the Blood Pact and his tomb. I'm not going to kill you, just give me yourself and get out of here. No, there must be a death! The Blood Pact must be complete! Are you going to kill yourself? Well, this game just got darker for a kid's game. Sort of a kid's game. Uh-oh! Oh, uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll pick up a sword. Why not? It's better than what I've got. Um, lovely. Oh, two swords. Oh, help! Untie me so we can get out of here. Untie Leona. Uh, wonder if I can just. Uh, oh yeah. Um, I was hoping that was going to be optional, but we kind of have to do it to return to the surface. Ah oh, well. Wait, what's that up there? Oh, the mouse has gone weird. Uh, thank the gods we're out. I thought I was going to die down there. You saved my life, whoever you are. Thank you. Well, adventurer, it looks like you have prevailed. You should keep the cultist's weapons as a reward. Is there anything you want to ask before you seek out new adventures? Um, you weren't really wounded, were you? Very perceptive, adventurer. I was wounded, but not as bad as I looked. I took the opportunity to see how you would fare. You risked my life for the sake of a test. You are a born adventurer. I can practically smell it on you. People like you have the habit of coming back from things that would kill an ordinary person. You risked that woman's life for the sake of a test. I was prepared to step in and rescue her if you failed. You are more than capable. The world needs heroes. I was a hero once, but I'm not any. I'm not getting any younger. I need to ensure a new generation has its own heroes. Uh, so how did I do? Very well indeed. You're a hero. You're exactly the sort of person the world needs. I'm glad I met you. Back to other questions. Uh, I'm ready for my reward. Farewell, adventurer. Congratulations, you have completed the blood pack. You are rewarded one quest point. Kale's charge bow, Caitlin's staff, and Reese's sword. Experience lamp containing 100 attack, strength, defense, range, magic attack, blah, 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 blah. Continue. You have earned the Pathfinder hood. You have earned the Pathfinder jacket. You've just received an XP lamp, which can be rubbed to increase your skills. Uh, click here to see your skills. Oh, lovely. Ah, oh, this is definitely this is definitely as I remember. Definitely. So anyway, we are actually going to end it here. This was RuneScape. A lot has changed. It's improved graphically, obviously, but it's still... What is this, anyway? I, I, what, seriously, what, what is it? Is it my stats or something? I don't really know. But it's, it's, it's laggier than I remember. Maybe it's just me, but yeah. It's free to play. Uh, it's a browser game, so you've got to understand why it might look horrible, but it is a browser game. So, that was RuneScape. I don't know if I'm going to continue playing this, but I may end up coming back just to, I don't know. Just because why not. So thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you next time. And a farewell to you.